Well, the biggest domino in the NFL's coaching carousel finally falling earlier this evening. Welcome back into sports, everyone. Jim Harbaugh has reportedly agreed to become the new head coach for the Los Angeles Chargers. ESPN reporting the news earlier today. Harbaugh is coming off a national championship with the Michigan Wolverines, and he's bringing a plethora of success in the NFL from his time with the San Francisco 49ers. During his time in the Bay Area, Harbaugh went 44-19-1, including an NFC championship in 2012 when the Niners lost to the Ravens in Super Bowl 47. The Chargers are coming off a 5-12 season. Los Angeles hoping the pairing of Harbaugh and star quarterback Justin Herbert will lead to better days ahead. Now to the mats over at Raider Gym, where Cibola hosted a tri-meet along with San Luis and Summerton. This first match we've got for you here is Diego Camarillo in the black and gold for Cibola. He would eventually go on to take the match in a 9-0 victory on points. He'd control his opponent just like that for most of his match. Next up will be the Sidewinders' Norman Picasso taking on Dominic Lopez. Picasso with a big takedown here. That would get him two points. Picasso ending up the victor at 21-5. After that would be San Luis's Jacob Reynoso versus Daniel Hoya of Cebola. Reynoso, he's going to earn a very big takedown here. Look at that. Reynoso would end up earning the victory via a pin later on for San Luis. Next up, we've got Damian Castillo for the Sidewinders right here. You're going to eventually see him get the pin victory here. A big day for San Luis. We'll be sure to have those final scores for you as soon as we get them over on our sports page over at KYMA.com. And over to the hardwood now where these 3-9 and nine San Luis Sidewinders hosted the 1-11 and 11 San Pasquale Warriors over in South County. First quarter, Sidewinders up 3-0. San Luis whipping the ball around the court. That eventually finds Alejandro Ramirez. Lovely move on the baseline. Floater good, and the Sidewinders are up by 5 early on. A few possessions later, Isaiah Martinez with it inside. He gives it up, but then... Gets it right back, attacks, floats it off the glass and in to get San Pasquale on the board. Later in the quarter, Sergio Ontiveros in the post, kicks it out to Ramirez, who goes on to knock down the triple here. That would extend the Sidewinders' lead up to 13. Next possession for San Luis, Ontiveros inside to Martin Tapia. One more to Salvador Rodriguez, who finishes it. Fantastic ball movement from the Sidewinders right there. Second quarter, San Pasquale trying to get back in this one. Martinez inside shot, no good. There's a scramble for the ball in the paint. Eventually, Zion Juan coming up with it, and he puts that one up and in. However, it would be all sidewinders in this one. San Luis would take it. We are, however, still waiting on that final score. On the girls' side, the San Luis sidewinders came in at 3-9, and nine while visiting San Pasquale Lady Warriors came in at 10 and 5. They ranked number 16 in the 1A ranking. Second quarter tied at 8. Ulyssa Montoya carrying up the floor. That moves to Fernanda Aranda who pulls up from 3. She sinks it to give the Sidewinders a 3-point lead. Shortly after Lola Clemens giving it back to Alyssa Rosales here. Driving hook shot. That is good and we're tied up at 16 apiece. Going on to the third quarter. Still tied up. Deja Villacana Going inside, kicking it out to Rosales, and she nails the triple there for the Warriors. Next possession, the shot from San Luis. No good, but Montoya right there with the putback. Another bucket for the Sidewinders to the fourth quarter. San Pasquale really starting to pull away here. Aliyah Ria to Trisha Castillo. Long range jumper good as the San Pasquale Lady Warriors. They go on to take this one by a slim margin, 43-40. to 40. And now we go to the latest look at AIA playoff rankings for some squads around Yuma County. We begin with boys basketball in 6A. The 10 and 4 Cibola Raiders coming in at number 18. They're right in the heart of the playoff picture. Gila Ridge coming in at 39. San Luis at 41. Both currently outside the reach of the postseason. In 5A, the 8 and 6 Kofa Kings finding themselves at number 28 with a slim chance for the postseason in the 4A division. The Yuma Criminals continue to fall down to number 27 now. Now when we have an outside chance at the playoffs. In 3A, the 11-1 Yuma Catholic Shamrocks finding themselves in a strong position for playoff seating, coming in at number 4. And in 1A, the 9-3 Antelope Rams right in the thick of the playoff hunt at number 12. San Pasquale currently out of contention down at number 38. To the girls' side, the Cibola Lady Raiders finding themselves in one of the open division playoff spots at number 30 in that division, number 13 in 6A. In 6A, also Gila Ridge in the thick of the playoff race at number 17. San Luis currently out of it at number 41. 
Moving on to 5A, the Copa Kings currently on the outside looking in at number 32. Over to 4A, where the Yuma Lady Criminals also currently find themselves outside the playoff spots at number 34. In 3A, Yuma Catholic's playoffs hopes slim as they come in at number 25. And down in 1A, the San Pasquale Lady Warriors will need a strong end of the season to solidify a playoff spot as they currently come in at number 16. Antelope currently out of it at number 41. Switching gears to boys soccer, the 8-0-1 San Luis Sidewinders in prime position coming in at number 5 in the 6A rankings, where a playoff spot is likely out of reach for both Cibola, who is down at number 29, and Gila Ridge, who is coming in at number 39. In 5A, the 8-1 Kofa Kings also in a very strong playoff position at number 4. Moving on to 4A, where the Yuma Criminals have very slim playoff hopes at number 24. In 3A, Yuma Catholic in a dogfight for a playoff spot at number 14. On the girls' side of the pitch, the Gila Ridge Lady Hawks down to number 14, but they still have a very strong shot at one of the coveted 16 playoff spots, while Cibola and San Luis are out of contention at number 35 and 36, respectively. In 5A, Kofa has dropped to number 32, well outside of a playoff spot. In 4A, the Yuma Lady Criminals, who are still looking for their first win, down at number 48. And in 3A, Yuma Catholic on the outside looking in at number 24. And with that, that is all the time we have for sports.